my mind and I just got a package in the mail from Lego. Now this video is going to be a little bit different from my other unboxing videos because there actually is going to be two boxes but the second box hasn't arrived yet. I won't be posting this until I also have the second box and have also opened that up so I'll be editing the two videos together but they will be filmed over the course of multiple days because this one arrived first but I want to get this one open now so I can start building the set and then I'll open the other box when that one arrives. But with all that being said this box is very exciting because this is an early set from the Lego group through the Lego Master Network and this is the very first 2023 set that has arrived. Super exciting, cannot wait to get it built up. So without further ado, let's just get the box open. All right, there we go. The tape has been removed, so let's get this thing open. And there we go. It is the all new Lego Monkey Kid Monkey King Warrior Mech. Or what, it's called the Monkey King Ultra Mech this time around? But yeah, there's a full look at the box for this set. As of the time of me recording this video, this is the only one of the new Monkey Kid sets that's actually been revealed. But the rest of the wave is what's coming in the next box, and that should be here in the next few days. So then I'll edit these two clips together and post it for you once the other half of the wave's been revealed. But taking a look at this, I mean, I already made a video about my thoughts on this set. In short, it looks good, but I'm curious to see, like, how different it's actually gonna be from the original Monkey King Mech. Let me know in the comments if you guys like to see a comparison video between this one and the original because of course I do also have the original because yeah from official pictures it didn't look super different so for people who didn't have the original mech I think it's great that they're still keeping one on shelves but for people who already do it's something that's less interesting to get but anyway box art can be deceiving it could very well just be a completely different set once I get it built up so I think I'm gonna go do that but of course that's not the end of this video so now let's flash forward to a couple of days later when the rest of the sets arrive okay so it's now been a couple of days and the second package has arrived as of the time we're recording this these sets have still not been revealed, so what you'll be watching is my genuine first reaction to these sets. The box overall is a little bit smaller than the box has been in the past, obviously still very big, but it makes me think there's not any huge sets like the Flower Fruit Mountain this time around, but maybe the size of the box is a little deceptive, I don't know, we'll have to see. So without further ado, let's just get this thing open. I wonder what, like, the generic bad guy is going to be this time around. Because there's the three demons in the mech, but none of them were, like, generic, at least to my knowledge. I hope the army's good this time around. But even still, just having three different named villains is already a step off in previous Monkey Kid waves. Alright, there we go. The tape's been removed, so now let's get this box open. And we have a bunch of paper in here, but okay, interesting. So we can see some of the minifigures in these sets. Okay, yeah, so I think I was right. There's four sets. Two of them look quite small, which is actually pretty exciting to see. But let's take a look at them one by one. So first we have the yellow tusk elephant. It comes with the yellow tusk elephant minifigure, as well as the giant build, which that looks really cool. It gives me sort of Chima vibes, but with a different color scheme. I guess these are the generic villains of this wave. What are they called? Ink General and Ink Demon. Those seem kind of fun. Also, May is wearing the same outfit Monkey Kid is in the mech set. And it looks like Pigsy's wearing the outfit of the character from Journey to the West that he's based on, the same way that Tang is in the mech set. That's actually very cool to see. But yeah, this gives me sort of like Chima slash Mino creature vibes. It does look like there's a good amount of room on top to pose figures, which is nice. Oh, and there's a little mech too, which is very cute. Yeah, I like this one. It seems pretty fun. All right, and then I guess we'll pull out this one next. Whoa, okay, that's pretty cool. We have Monkey Kid's Team Hideout. That looks amazing. Got like these buildings on the side. I love all the foliage and everything. And the minifigures look really cool, too. Yeah, it looks like Sandy's also in an outfit based off Journey to the West. And the Golden Winged Eagle also comes in this set. And he has full wings, just like Vulture from Spider-Man. As well as Talons, which those look pretty cool. Taking a look at the back, this looks pretty cool, too. Yeah, the set looks very full, very cool. Reminds me of, like, the Keeper's Village and other similar sets. I love terrain builds, so this one is fantastic. Also, we're getting a kitten version of Mo. That is the most incredible thing I've ever seen. I don't know what the context of this is going to be in the show, but I absolutely love it. That is so cool to see. Also, to tie in with the outfits of like all the other characters it looks like monkey kids outfit is actually based on monkey kings which that's a cool touch as well but yeah i think this is my favorite set so far very cool and then we have two small sets left which is nice to see i'm glad monkey kids is doing more small sets hopefully the prices on these won't be too bad but we have maze dragon booster jet this also comes with an ink general and an ink demon and it does look pretty cool that new piece in trans green is a really cool color and the windscreen looks really nice it is a little bit lame because we already have gotten a jet for may so it's not something as new or exciting but personally i think this jet looks better inside obviously a much smaller scale but as long as this thing isn't way too overpriced i think it's actually a pretty good set just from like this picture alone i would assume 20 25 but if this is like 35 40 it might not be as worth it and oh i think that's a spoiler for the uh for the next set so i'm not gonna look at that but yeah here's the last set we have monkey kids combi mech combi <laughs> Okay, um, interesting. This is pretty cool. It's just like a small scale mech, slightly bigger than like an Evo mech or a Marvel mech. But you can see it almost looks like it might have knees, which is very cool to see. And then yeah, that's the picture that was on the back of the other box. You can see it actually combines the Mage Jet, which I actually really like. That's a lot of fun. Oh wow, it's also the Monkey Kid figure from the Fire Ring set. 
Very nice to get him for cheaper too. Okay, but there is all the sets that LEGO sent me in this package. Now, as of the time of me filming this part, I have actually already built the uh, Monkey King mech, so I will not be discussing that set anymore until my actual review. But in terms of these four, I'm definitely most excited for the Monkey Kids Team Hideout. Love location builds, and that looks like a fantastic one. So detailed, so many things to do. I really like that. The small sets are awesome to see too. I've been saying since the beginning of Monkey Kid, it needs more small sets. The characters need to be more accessible, and I'm very happy to see that they are finally here. Hopefully, the prices aren't too bad. Ideally, it would be twenty dollars for each of them, but we will have to see. You guys will probably know by the time this video is out. And then the Yellow Tusk Elephant is definitely my least favorite of any of these, but that still does not make it bad by any means. It still looks like a really cool set. It just doesn't excite me as much as the others. So let me know in the comments which of these sets you guys want to see an early review on first, either one of these four or the Monkey King Mac from earlier in this video. And is there anything specific you'd like to see in the reviews? Because while I am building these right away, it's going to be a little bit till I film the reviews. So hopefully if these aren't revealed super late, I'll be able to take your comments into consideration before I actually film. So yeah, let me know which one you want to see first. If there's anything specific you want to see. And I'll take all that into consideration when making and publishing my reviews. But as with this video, I think it's about to do it. So thank you once again to the Lego Ambassador Network for sending these over to me. I greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please just like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I do Lego videos just like this one almost every day. So if you subscribe, be the first to see them. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.